Here's the new plan approved by the Tuscaloosa City Board last night. For elementary and middle school students, they will begin a staggered schedule on September 21st and return to class full time on October 21st. High school students will remain virtual until September 28th. April Coleman, parent of two TCS students, is thankful for the board's decision and is ready for not only her children, but special needs and students falling behind because of the lack of in-person services to return back to school. Yeah, so just from families I've talked with through my job and also through friends and acquaintances that have just reached out to me during the last couple of months, they're just not getting the services they need. It's very difficult for a student's IEP or 504 goals to adequately be met um, through a screen. Classrooms in Tuscaloosa City Schools have been closed since March, the beginning of the pandemic. I spoke with parent of three TCS students, Mary Grace Lyon, about how her and her group, Tuscaloosa for Education, feel about the board's decision to reopen those city schools. Really what I wanted to do and why I started the group that we did was because there are a lot of kids in our system who are falling through the cracks um, during this time. And the educational gap between those who have resources and have parents coming behind them, making sure they're doing their work, making sure they're logging on, um, and those who don't have those things in place, that gap is widening. And so one of our kind of slogans has been, close the gap and open the doors. The Tuscaloosa for Education group is taking on some of the needs that the board mentioned in last night's meeting. Those needs being eight ounces of water bottles for students because the water fountains will not be available for use due to COVID-19. If you would like to help out, there is a water bottle drive tomorrow at Capstone Church from 5 to 7 p.m. Also visit their Facebook page for more information. Ajene Robinson, WVUA 23 News.